Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend, a 10 day period that takes us up to the first day of the meteorological summer. And of course, it includes the upcoming bank holiday weekend. Now, this time last year, we were forecasting a sizzling bank holiday weekend with the jet stream well to the north of the UK. Somewhat different this year, though. The jet stream through the upcoming weekend actually dives south, but it won't be a washout weekend by any means. Yeah, there'll be some showers around, but many places will be dry for much of the time. It will, however, turn cooler through the weekend and into next week. Plenty of warm sunshine across England, Wales, eastern Scotland on Thursday. A bit more cloud there for northern and western Scotland, northern Ireland. A few showers around as well and some more persistent damp weather in the far north, along with a stiff breeze making it feel cool, but some warmth in the sunshine further south into Friday. And actually, many places will have similar weather. There'll be more cloud to the west, a few more showers developing for Northern Ireland into Wales, and this time for central parts of England through Friday afternoon. Best of any sunshine through northern England, southern Scotland, East Anglia. And where we've got the sunshine, it will feel warm, cooler to the northwest. The jet stream, though, in a fairly wishy-washy state at the moment. It's been swirling around northeast Scotland during the last few days and the next couple of days, bringing rain here. But otherwise, it's largely absent across the UK. However, that is about to change because if we look to the other side of the pond, North America, where there is some very humid air associated with severe storms drawn up northwards across the USA. And that will nudge the jet stream downstream of the UK. And what happens then is a low pressure system topples out of Canada with this more amplified jet stream driving it south. And then that ripple in the jet stream moves downstream. And by the start of the weekend, we'll start to see more action from that jet stream affecting the British Isles. This is Saturday, but actually what's happened by Saturday is the jet stream pushes north of the UK again, allowing a ridge of high pressure to move in. And by Sunday, though, the jet stream starts to point across the UK, so we can expect a bit more cloud, a bit more rain coming along, and that ridge of high pressure slipping away. And that trend continues into Bank Holiday Monday, so we've still got the jet stream running in from the Atlantic and moving across the UK. What does that mean? Well, the jet stream is a fast-flowing current of air, of course, high in the sky, and it helps to drive weather systems our way. And when it's pointed towards us, we can expect a bit more cloud, rain, and a bit more of a breeze. But high pressure still relatively close. So no, not a washout weekend, but it will be a bit more changeable as far as the weather is concerned. Most places on Saturday start off dry and bright. There'll be decent sunshine for eastern Scotland, England, and Wales. But with that jet stream starting to move in later Saturday, we can expect a bit more rain to come in for western Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland as well. In the sunshine, though, further south and further east, pleasant enough, 22 degrees, enough to set off a few showers, potentially, for southern counties of England. That's Saturday then, so many places dry. Sunday's a different picture with more cloud arriving, courtesy of that jet stream, and a few more outbreaks of rain. More persistent across northern and western Scotland, showery elsewhere, the driest weather further south, and the best of any sunny spells. We'll start to feel a bit cooler to the north of the UK, but quite muggy actually, further south where the, where the sun does break through. And that cloud could get the mid 20s, somewhere like East Anglia. That could spark off a shower. But uh, the temperature trend through the weekend is a downward one. Later Sunday and into Monday, you can see these cooler colors to the north of the jet stream starting to infiltrate across the whole of the UK. So we lose the warmth for the second half of the weekend from the southwest, and we start to see uh, those cooler uh, colours arrive from the northwest. Bank holiday Monday, though, still plenty of fine weather around for England, Wales, some sunshine, the best of which the further south you are. More cloud further north and outbreaks of showery rain into western Scotland and Northern Ireland. So bank holiday Monday itself, many places will be dry. It will just feel a bit cooler. Temperatures falling away. Still some warmth in the dry and bright weather in the south, however. Now, into next week, the jet stream is crucial and its position starts to turn quite interesting because through the bank holiday weekend, of course, it's running across the UK, but then developments further west across the Atlantic could nudge it north across the Atlantic and then it dives south. So this is the expected jet stream position into much of next week. The jet stream diving south of the UK 
What does that mean? Well, we'll be on the cool side of the jet stream for much of next week. So temperatures, well, still feeling pleasant in the sunshine, but they will be below average. And this is shown fairly well on a temperature trend graph here. So this is the day of the week next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is the average line, the red line, for central part of the UK. And you can see these error bars, and these blocks showing a trend below average, reaching a nadir perhaps around middle of next week, but generally staying below that red line, the average line throughout next week. So temperatures falling away, but still feeling pleasant in the sunshine. And that jet stream position is not expected to change very quickly through next week. And the other thing that it means is that we'll have low pressure centred somewhere to the northeast of the UK, somewhere around the Norwegian Sea, perhaps. And that will drive showers into many places. So through much of next week, it's a case of sunny spells and feeling warm in the sunshine, but with some heavy downpours, thunder, hail, lightning, that sort of thing. Dodging showers through much of next week, in other words. But no particularly prolonged rain and actually it will still feel pleasant in the sunshine. More details can be found on the Met Office app and through the Met Office social media channels. Bye-bye.